Let's talk about how to deal with problems without giving up. How to smile even when things are hard. How to be kind. How to keep your inner peace. How to inspire others. And how to make strong bonds. Making your own way clear and sticking out by being yourself. But how can we start to change together for the better? Watch till the end to find out how each choice and each step can help you become the best version of yourself. Part 1. Strong Steps The road less travelled is full of thorns and unknowns in this world. Taking firm steps is more than just a choice, it's a strong statement of who you are and where you want to go. Imagine that you are at the beginning of your own story and are looking out into the horizon. You are a work of art, and each step you take is a stroke or note in the symphony of your life. But what does it really mean to walk with these sure and firm steps? It's not about not failing or getting rid of worries. If only it were that easy. It's about being strong enough to get back up after falling and having the courage to keep going even when the way looks cloudy. That's what it means to take strong steps when you walk. Think about the great people who have done well in life. They were not written in straight lines or on roads without any obstacles. They were made by going through hard times with chapters of persistence and blank pages full of drive. And you have that strength inside you, just like the heroes in those stories. But what does that mean for you in real life? When you're working on a tough project, you don't take a step back. Instead, you dive even deeper, driven by your passion and the vision of what you can accomplish. It happens when you choose to stay true to your ideals, even when things are hard. In this way, you shape reality instead of letting it shape you. And the best part, you're not walking by yourself when you take strong steps. People around you will be inspired by your trip to find their own paths and reach for the horizon. Every step you take lights the way for others. It's a positive cycle of inspiration and drive. What are you going to do now? What part of your story are you about to write? Remember that taking strong steps isn't just about getting where you're going. It's also about enjoying the journey, facing challenges with courage, and being thankful for every small win. Now I want you to think about what parts of your life you can start walking more strongly. How can you get other people to do the same, which would have a good chain reaction? Walk with purpose and determination. And most of all, know that every step is an important part of the magnificent journey that is your life. Part 2. Put a smile on your face. A smile on your face shines like a beacon of hope and humanity in a world that sometimes seems to be full of bad news and never-ending problems. It's more than just the curve of the lips. It's a silent bridge that connects minds, a language that people all over the world can understand without having to translate. When we smile, what does it really do? How can it change the world around us? Picture going into a tense room where words seem to float around in a cloud of doubt. Picture yourself giving someone a real smile. It's almost like magic that the air has changed. As invisible walls fall away, shoulders loosen up, and a space of openness and acceptance takes their place. That's the power of a smile that can't be beat. A smile is more than just a look on the face. It's a reflection of the soul and a sign that we choose to stay upbeat and strong, even when things go wrong. It tells the world, I am here and everything is okay. Choosing to smile not only makes us feel better, but it also has the amazing gift of making other people feel better too. It's not just how we think about it. Scientists have found that smiling produces endorphins, which are neurotransmitters that make us feel good. That means that when we smile, we make our own day better as well as someone else's. But let's go even further. A smile is one of the few things that can bring people together and build bridges where there used to be gaps. A smile brings us together and reminds us that we are all people. It shows that deep down, 
we all want the same things, to be happy, to be accepted, and to connect with other people. That being said, why not make laughing your signature? Just by deciding to smile, you can make a difference. You can leave a trail of light. When things are hard, a smile can be your shield. When things are good, it can be your party. Part three, keep your heart open. On the stage of life, we all have a heart, but it's more than just a beating heart. It's a vault full of secrets, wants, and unwritten stories. Now picture a heart that isn't just beating to stay alive, but also beating with an unmatched kindness and openness. Friends, that's having an open heart. When you have an open heart, you're not going on a journey by yourself. You're being invited to a dance where the music is empathy and the steps are danced on the fine line between giving and getting. It's about taking down the defenses we've built to protect ourselves, which in a strange way makes us more alone. When we say open our hearts, we mean being kind to people we don't know, not just people we've met yet. It means seeing yourself in someone else's eyes and realizing that we all want the same thing, to be loved, understood, and respected. How do we do it though? In a world that often seems to shut its doors, how can we really live with an open heart? The answer is easy, but you have to be brave to give it. We have to be brave enough to share our stories, our battles and our victories without worrying about what other people will think. Most of our strength comes from being open and vulnerable, which is how we can really connect with another person. Let's say we build bridges instead of walls right now. Bridges that aren't made of bricks and stones, but of love, support and understanding. We make this safe space together, where magic happens, where fear turns into courage, where loneliness turns into friendship, and where differences are honored like the many colors that make up a great human mosaic. Also, don't think that having an open heart means you are weak. Being kind, giving and choosing to see the best in people even when they can't see it in themselves takes a lot of strength. How should we begin? We start with a simple hello, a smile or some other act of kindness. Little things that can change someone's life, even if they don't seem important at the time. It takes courage to say, I get it, I'm here for you, you're not alone. And maybe most importantly, it takes courage to say, I need you as much as you need me. Because an open heart is what makes us human in the end. We can make the world a place where everyone feels loved, understood and respected because of it. Are you ready to live with an open heart? Part 4. Being strong in quiet. Imagine that life is a huge ocean that is sometimes calm and peaceful like the sky and other times rough with storms that test the toughest sailors. There is a strong force at the center of this ocean that can't be seen but is felt deeply by those who have it. That force is called quiet strength. Have you ever thought about why some people don't give up when they face problems that would normally make others give up? How do they stay calm when everything around them seems to be going wrong? The answer lies in this almost magical ability to stay calm and strong even when things go wrong. Being quiet and strong doesn't happen quickly. It takes time to learn more about ourselves, our values and our beliefs. We know we have a North Star, a set point inside us that guides us like a lighthouse for lost ships, no matter how bad the storm is. This inner strength tells us what to do, helps us make choices and keeps us steady. Take a look. When was the last time you thought you couldn't get through a tough situation? What did happen? Are you here now? This shows that you have a lot of strength inside you, which you may not fully understand yet, but is there. In many situations, quiet strength can be seen in the form of thoughtful actions that show both bravery and wisdom, active listening that shows empathy and understanding without words, and silent support that often speaks louder than any words of encouragement. 
It's a lesson that even when things go wrong, we can keep our serenity and keep going, knowing that we can handle anything. Now think about how this quiet power could change your life and the lives of those around you if you developed it and showed it. You stand strong as an example of how to handle storms with serenity and come out stronger on the other side. So, I want to know how you can start building your quiet strength today. It could be through quiet thought, practicing gratitude, or just choosing to look at the problems you face every day with a fresh mind, one that sees past them to the chances and solutions they present. Don't forget that quiet strength is a power we all have. It's up to you to use it and let it shine. We not only find peace and strength in our own lives, but we also encourage others to find the same power within themselves. So know that you have everything you need to face the storm when it comes, which it always does. If you have quiet strength by your side, you can handle any waves or storm. In the end, it is this strength that defines us, that makes us who we are. Beings who can deal with any problem with peace, understanding, and most of all, tranquility. Part 5. Getting People to Act Imagine that you are one of those people who stands out, not because they are loud or trying to get attention, but because they have their own light, a glow that comes from inside them. In other words, this radiance is your beliefs and ideals coming to life in the way you live your life. Yes, I'm talking about you. Your small acts of kindness, initiative, and willingness to share what you know make me feel inspired all the time. Now, wait a minute. Have you ever thought about how a simple act of kindness can make a difference? How powerful a word of support can be, or how powerful it can be to help someone who needs it? Every one of these acts, no matter how small they may seem, can make a big difference and inspire others to do the same. That's what it means to motivate people to act. But what does it really mean to be an example by what we do, so that every choice we make and every action we take is in line with our deepest beliefs? It means that our deeds speak for themselves, even when we don't say anything. They talk about love, respect, and loyalty to other people and the world we live in. Because of this, being an inspiration is always a call to think. Do our acts match up with what we believe in? Are we setting the ideals we want to see in the world? The beauty of this questioning is not just that it helps you look at yourself, but also that it can change you and inspire others to follow a similar road of change and positivity. No matter how big or small our part is, we all have a part to play in this world. What matters most is the goal and the effect it has on other people. A simple smile, a helpful word, or sharing information can make someone's day better and encourage them to do the same for others, making the chain stronger and longer. So why not be the person who makes the world a better place today? There's no need to wait for a big time or a great chance. Small steps, easy but meaningful actions are the first steps toward real change. Always remember that everything you do has the power to start a story, change a life, or even just one person's world. Finally, what makes us unique are not just the things we think or say, but also the things we do. Because of this, be a positive light and live by your beliefs. In this way, you will not only give your daily deeds more meaning, but you will also become the person you want to be. In the end, being inspiring means living in a way that makes your deeds more important than what you say. Are you ready to be that spark today? Part 6. Real Connections In a world that is always moving faster and full of shallow exchanges, the important question is what it means to make real connections. It seems simple, but when we dig deeper into this question, we find that sensitivity Mutual understanding and support are the most important things. Imagine walking down a busy street where everyone you see is lost in their own thoughts. In this world of anonymity, the chance to reach out to someone through a kind act 
could be the spark that starts a real relationship. Bridges are made of things like listening, not just to answer, but also to understand, showing attention that goes beyond the surface and showing gratitude in a way that touches the heart. These real relationships are not just an extra part of our lives. They are what hold us together. In ways that no solid pillar could ever do, they make our support network stronger. They make our journey better by adding the bright colors of mutual care and understanding. But here's the real question. How do we build the ties we want so badly? Even though the answer is complicated, it all starts with one easy thing, being present. Giving someone our full attention can be very different in this age of computers and other distractions. During a talk, it means putting down the phone and looking the person in the eye to show that you are there, not just in body, but also in spirit. And by showing thanks and appreciation, we mean letting the people in our lives know how important they are in real ways. A sincere thank you, a note of appreciation, or even a small action can make a big difference. They are the little seeds we plant that get bigger over time and bloom into gardens of strong bonds. Here's something important to keep in mind. Making real relationships isn't always easy. Being open, ready to listen, and most of all, patient, are all things that are needed. But the reward, oh, the reward, is greater than any task. It's finding a safe place in another person, knowing that even when life gets crazy, there are people you can count on who see how valuable you are. So here's what we should do. Let's take a step towards someone today. It could be a family member, a friend, or even someone you don't know. Be interested, really listen, and say thank you. When it comes down to it, these real relationships are what make our lives truly rich. Are you ready to start making those bridges? Part 7. The Light Within Amidst a world that sometimes seems dark, we all have something inside us that can light not only our own way, but also the way of those around us. Inside light is what we call this. But what does it really mean to have this light? How can we find it and make it shine bright like this? Think of yourself as a lamp. Every person has their own shape, color and brightness. The energy and glow that come from inside, driven by desire, purpose and presence, is the inner light. Someone can't give it to you or buy it from outside. This is an inner journey, a dedication to the very core of what makes us unique. Have you ever thought about why some people seem to draw other people to them? Also, why do some chances just seem to fall into someone's lap? How these people let their inner light shine may hold the key. They know what they're worth, do what they love, and have a reason for living. Then, their presence inspires others and brings them people and chances that are in line with their deepest values. It's a journey of self-discovery to grow this light. It needs breaks, quiet times, and time to think about ourselves when we ask, what really moves me? How do I make my heart beat faster? It's a challenge to go beyond what other people think you should be like and find the glow that only you have. Why does this light appear though? How does it shine for everyone to see? The first step is to accept that you are special and that no one else is exactly like you. Then it's about feeding this light with relationships, activities, and events that connect with your core self. And maybe most importantly, it's sharing that light not because they want praise, but because they naturally light up the places they're in. It's simple to get lost in the daily tasks, problems, and demands. Don't forget, though, that your inner light is a way to find your way through the dark. It is the key to not only living, but growing by lighting the way with what is truly yours. Now I want you to think about how you can start today to polish that light. What little things can you do to make your life more like who you really are? Remember that letting your inner light shine is a journey, not a goal. 
Each moment of discovery and brightness along the way is an important part of the journey. So be the light you want to see in the world. Don't be a bright star that scares people away. Be a soft flame that helps others find their own glow. Because when we shine together, everyone can see the way. Part 8. A Unique Brand In our search for authenticity, there is a treasure that isn't very secret but is very valuable. The Unique Brand. This is what it means to build an identity that is so unique that it explains your worth and the beliefs that push you forward in every action. It's like leaving your mark on the world around you, not like writing a name on paper. The unique brand's heart beats to the beat of congruence, which means that your beliefs, deeds, and the way you show the world who you are all work together perfectly. The unique way you handle life's ups and downs makes you memorable, leaving behind echoes of your presence even when you're not there, like a melody that stays in your head. People hear your brand as the song they hum without realizing it, thinking of you, your stories, and your view of the world. But how do we start this road toward being real and standing out? Learning to be truly yourself and becoming more self-aware are the keys. You are standing in front of a mirror that shows more than just the surface of you. This mirror lets you see into the deeper parts of your being. As you learn and accept more about yourself, each new thing you learn is a step toward your purest core. Because of this, creating your own brand is an adventure that needs honesty and guts. To do that, you have to ask yourself, what are the values that guide my inner compass? You can show your feelings not only through the words you use, but also through the things you do and how you act around other people. As you start to find answers to these questions, an interesting thing starts to happen. Your brand starts to get stronger, becoming a light that draws people who share your values and vision. There is a steady conversation going on between the inside and the outside, and authenticity is the key to both standing out and making deeper, more meaningful connections. Part 9. The Power of Silence As the world is always noisy and words fly around like leaves in the wind, have you ever thought about how strong quiet is? Yes, I'm talking about that powerful silence. It's not a lack of sound. It's a presence, a choice that has meaning and purpose. When we choose silence, we're not just remaining quiet, we're showing control, which is a form of inner confidence that shouts as loudly as any word. You're wrong to think that quiet means weakness or not doing anything. Instead, it shows how strong we are as people by showing that we know the weight of our words and pick when and how to share them with the world. But what does this help us with? For a moment, let's imagine that we don't answer every question or insult. Instead, we give ourselves a moment of silence. It's not just a break. It's a place to listen and watch. In this silence, we find the most profound answers, ones that don't come quickly, but after careful thought. We choose to act with purpose when we choose to be quiet. Every word we say has meaning that it wouldn't have if we just threw it out there without thinking about it. Being quiet helps us notice and understand things better, so when we do talk, our words have more power and meaning. Think about very important people who changed the course of events. Most of the time their power didn't come from how many words they used, but from knowing when to speak and when to be quiet. In some situations, they knew that silence could speak louder than words. So, I want you to think about the place in your life that silence holds. Are you afraid of it, or do you see it as a friend who can help you see things clearly and find peace? Remember that silence isn't a hole that needs to be quickly filled. It's a rich place full of possibilities that invites us to go deeper into our souls and thoughts. As we get close to the end of this thought, I want to make one last call to action. Allow yourself a moment of silence the next time you're in the middle of a lot of noise, chaos or chatter. Take note of what it shows you 
and how it teaches you about the world. Maybe the silence will help you find the key to responding in a more meaningful and powerful way. Friends, we are strong when we choose the right time to speak, not when we don't have anything to say. That choice, that control is what makes us so strong.